everyone. Welcome to Heart of Philly. And today we're with executive chef David Boyle at Davia's Restaurant in Philadelphia. Hi, how are you doing, David? I'm doing wonderful. How are you? Great. And what are you going to cook up for us today? Today we're going to do one of Davia's classic dishes. It's our penne with smoked chicken and a walnut cream sauce. Perfect for the winter time. It sounds yummy, yummy. Okay, let's get started. First thing we're going to do, because this is actually a really quick dish, you can do it in the amount of time it takes to cook the pasta. So first thing we're going to do is drop our penne bombs into the water and get that cooking. 11 minutes later, we'll be ready to put it right in the pan and serve it right up. Great. So we put about a quarter pound or a third of a pound of pasta in. You don't want to get too much because it is a hearty dish. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare some of our stuff for cooking. What we really want to do is just get our chicken cut, and that way it's in bite-sized pieces and it fits with the penne. So this is a smoked chicken breast. You can buy it pretty much at any grocery store nowadays. We're just going to take it and dice it up in a small dice. Did you say small dice? Because they look like nice and hearty bites. Oh, yeah, nice. Okay, medium dice is all right with me. <laughs> okay, I'm all right with good. that, medium dice. And now we're pretty much ready to get going. We're just going to get our pan on this fire. And we're going to go ahead and make it all happen at once. So we add a little bit of butter. Because that's not that we're also going to add a little bit of ground garlic. It's just going to enhance the flavors. That's the whole idea behind that. You don't want too much garlic because this is a cream sauce base and we really want to bring out that walnut flavor. So what we want to do to keep it from being too garlicky is we actually want to cook the garlic really well. We don't want to brown it, but we want to get it real nice and translucent. Okay, as that garlic is cooking now, we're going to go ahead and add our smoked chicken to it. And the smoked chicken's already been cooked. Up. You can have it actually slice it down and have it on sandwiches or something like that. We like to actually warm it up. We're not looking to caramelize it, we're just looking to make it nice and warm and tender. As the chicken's cooking, we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of our walnuts also. And we want to add our walnuts early because we want them to toast. It brings out the natural oils, brings out the flavor. And as you can see, we're just building flavor upon flavor. So next we're going to add a little bit of our sun-dried tomatoes. These sun-dried tomatoes have already been uh, hydrogenized, so they're, they're, they're nice and tender already, so they're not going to have to cook too long. If you bought the real hard, soft, dry, dry ones, we want to cook them up, we want to rehydrate them. And uh, that way, they're not real tough when you put them in the pasta. So, we got our, our three main ingredients in there. Now what time for is to add a little bit of our cream. We're going to add a little bit of heavy cream to this. too much, maybe about half a cup, and we want to reduce it down. Now as it's reducing down, we want to add a little bit of salt and pepper. And we're going to let that simmer. While that's cooking, mainly the last two things we have to do is cut a little bit of basil and add a little bit of cheese to the dish, and then we're ready to put the pasta in. So we're just going to shift on our basil. And I find basil works really well with this dish. You can add parsley. It's a little more of an unassuming flavor of an herb. Um, but I wouldn't go with anything too strong, like a, a, a rosemary or a thyme. I think that would take a little bit away from the walnuts. So we add our basil to this. We also add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to finish it. And now all we need to do is add the pasta and we're ready to go. And that took all of <laughs> That was pretty quick. That was really that was quick. quick. It's a real nice, simple dish to make. It's very hearty. And uh, we'll finish it up and plate it up. I think this would be a good dish on a cold night, too. It would be fantastic right? in the wintertime. Is 
kosher. Okay. So we use kosher salt, uh, mainly because we season with our hands, and that way we can feel how much seasoning we're putting on each dish. Mmm, that looks good. Just finish with a little sprig of basil. And there you go. Okay, where's the pork? Oh. This is the true test, you know. <laughs> So I expect okay. you to dig in. Okay. Peace. I can't wait because this looks, you know what? I've always loved walnuts. And you have the, the Checo pasta going here too. So you've got it all. <laughs> we do have it all. It's a really nice dish. It's been on uh, Davio's menu for all over 10 years now. So it's actually, mm. I started here at Davio's. It was one of the original uh, recipes. Uh, and so it's on at every Davio's and it's fantastic. People love it. Um, fantastic flavors going on with the smoked chicken and I, walnuts. I love that. You can really, you can really taste the smoked flavor of the chicken uh, yes. and a lot of flavors blending together with the cream sauce. It's nice. It works out fantastic. Mm. Very good. Very good. That's very nice. So, now we're going to talk a little bit about your history here. Okay, okay. Well, sure. Where, where did you come from? I heard you came from a faraway <laughs> land. <laughs> I did. I, I grew up in Alaska. Wow. Uh, I spent my whole childhood there all the way through high school. And then uh, after high school, I moved down to lower 48, as we call it, and uh, went to school in Cincinnati for a while. And then I decided to move here to Philadelphia. I went to the restaurant school. I am. Um, and I thought it was uh, fantastic. I love the trip to France. Um, I started doing my externship at the Four Seasons. <laughs> Sorry about that. At the Four Seasons Hotel, uh, I did my externship there. Graduated from the uh, restaurant school, and I went to France for a year. And I, oh. I worked out there at a place called Le Grand Monarch, and it was fantastic. I loved it. And then I uh, moved back, traveled around the United States for a year, and then came back to Philly because I loved Philly so much. And uh, you know, it was a real real big in the gastronomic world. At that time, it didn't seem like it, but there were so many people ready to come up. It was just bubbling, ready to, to blow up like the food scene has. And, and so it was fun to come back, work at the Four Seasons. I worked at Jake's for a while, and then uh, I got the call to come to Davio's, and uh, I said, no problem, right away. And you've been here for a number of years I now. 10 years of Memorial Day, so a couple wow. more months, and it's 10 years, so. So tell me, um, tell me a little bit about Davio's. Well, Davio's here in Philadelphia is in the Provident Bank building. Um, it's an old historic building, and actually we're on the second floor, and this is where the tellers used to be, this room. So it has a high 18-foot ceilings, um, and we're lucky enough to actually occupy the penthouse level where we have banquet spaces with 22-foot high ceilings. So it's beautiful, beautiful rooms. Um, you know, Davio's has been here in Philadelphia for 13 years. We're a northern Italian steakhouse, so we have a little bit of everything. We have, you know, the steakhouse where we use Brant prime beef. Um, we're proud of the beef we use. We think it's the best on the market. We can't find a better cut. If we could, we'd change. You know, we've done all the taste tests, and, and we have firm belief behind our steaks. So we have the steakhouse option. But we're also a northern Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. so as you saw, this is a nice uh, pasta dish, very reminiscent of, of a region in northern Italy. Um, so it's fantastic. So you can find pastas here. We have gnocchi. We have lobster raviolis, bolognese, um, fusilli. So we have all sorts of different types of pastas. And on top of that, we have plenty of seafood too. We have lobsters, shellfish, shrimp and uh, scallops, branzino, Mediterranean sea bass. It's fantastic. We have sole here, salmon, tuna. So oh it's, it's, it's a really large menu where pretty wow. much everybody can find everything they want. And even for those vegans and, and vegetarians out there, we love having you in. It's, it's a nice challenge to cook for you on a high level, on a fine dining level. Uh, we're fine with everybody coming in. We do gluten-free menus. Oh, wow. We do dairy-free menus. So, you know. We, a little we, bit for everyone. A little bit for everybody. 
Um, you know, and the fun thing about Davi is, is we're actually open, we're attached to a hotel, so we're open breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We're the only Davios that's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day. What do so, you serve for breakfast? <laughs> we serve very <laughs> normal fare. Okay. We used to try to get real fancy with breakfast, and, and the people didn't want it, because uh, most of them, our, our clientele are actually from the hotel, and they want right. steak and eggs, and you know, oatmeal and, and scrap. Everybody wants scrapple when they come In to Philadelphia. Philadelphia. <laughs> right. um, but but the, the, the breakfasts aren't, you know, I mean, they're still very well done. We have great service. It's polished. Everything's fantastic. But we, you know, our, our concentration obviously is at lunch and dinner, and uh, it's it's wonderful being busy at both. And what services. would what would I find on your lunch menu? What is your well, most we popular have, dish? Our most popular dish would be the penny with smoked Ooh, chicken. Oh, I, I love this. <laughs> this is really good. Um, we sell a tremendous amount of seafood at lunchtime and a lot of salads. I, I think you know it shows that Americans are, are really watching what they eat because at lunchtime you really notice uh, a lot of salads. You know, we serve salads with steak, with chicken, with salmon, with shrimp. So we have lots of accompaniments that can go with your different types of salads, um, and then. Besides that, I, a lot of seafood at lunchtime. We definitely sell more seafood than meat at, at lunch. Um, a lot of salmon, a lot of scallops. Those are our two big uh, sellers definitely at lunchtime, so it works out really well. Something you mentioned about Americans being more health conscious, and and you see it as a chef uh, with, as you said, the, the salad and the seafood. Um, so have, have you seen a, a great change Lately, it with, hasn't with been a diet, great you know? change, but yeah. I would say there's definitely been a leaning where people are definitely much more uh, into what they're eating. I, I remember when I first came here, you know, this is a steakhouse, and I, I came from fine dining, but as the Four Seasons and, and Jake's, it was a, a different level. So we would have a steak at those restaurants that was seven ounces. Mm -hmm. And I come here to Domino's, and we have a 32 ounce long bone ribeye. I'm like, who can eat this? <laughs> you nope. share it. <laughs> no, I gotta be honest with you, I've eaten one. Well, you know, um, you know, if if you're hungry and that's all you're having yeah. on your plate, a I tell you what, a little salad and a nice steak. You can you huh? can you can finish it because it's just so delicious. It just keeps going down so easily. It's one of those. You know, sometimes the beer goes down or the wine goes down a little too easy. Sometimes the steaks go down too easy. Also, I've found that people are are actually much more responsible for how they order. You know, people are going to order the 32 on steak, but they're also ordering a, a salad. salad to so go they're with not it. going to go ahead and have the pennant. Or people are ordering our, our appetizers and our, our pastas in appetizer form. You know, right. so it's a smaller portion. And you definitely notice it and, and you play up to it. I think it's a, it's a great thing because then they have a more chance to eat different things and mm -hmm. experience a lot more. Now tell me about your dessert list because I can never, I can't finish a meal without dessert. So well, we have a tremendous dessert list and it's actually seasonal so it changes all the time. Uh, we do have a couple of staples. All our, our ice cream is house made. Uh, we mm. do uh, a chocolate molten cake serve a vanilla gelato where you know it's a nice cake you cut it open and it oozes oh. out chocolate <laughs> we have a beautiful tiramisu um you know every italian restaurant has to do it ours are in individual little bowls and they're piped out and they're, they're they're amazing they just melt right in your mouth usually between seven and eleven different desserts on our dessert cart and the waiters will go around and wheel it right to your table we have uh, panna cotta we'll have um creme brulee, uh, we'll have a nice uh, decadent cake all the time. We always have a sampler plate which has three or four different little tasty treats on it. It's fantastic mm, yeah. also. You get more than one. Exactly. <laughs> so, well anyway, David, thank you so much for introducing me to Davies, uh, even though they've been here a long time, because this is this is a, such an elegant atmosphere too, and you have a wonderful menu, so I think a salute Salute to Davies and Heart of Philly.
I love your heart of Philly.